Do you use biocatalysis as part of your small molecule API manufacturing process? Unlike biologics, small molecule drugs are usually chemically synthesized and the process is typically free of protein residuals. However, if your process uses added enzymes, the presence of these biological components is of significant concern. You should demonstrate the removal of the residual enzyme in your final drug product. Our client produces a small molecule product and uses a protease as part of the manufacturing process. They wanted to document residual protease levels in different product batches. First, we analyzed the protease itself to evaluate its purity. Surprisingly, the protease product contained a mixture of 18 different proteins. Based on the results, we designed a mass spectrometry-based assay to quantify the most abundant protease, the alpha amylase. The assay uses multiple reaction monitoring, MRM, to quantify specific proteins by selecting several signature peptides from the protein of interest. The approach typically has a lower limit of quantification at around 1 ppm. In this case, we identified nine signature peptides of the amylase, which we used for quantification. Then we performed linearity studies in the range of 1 to 50 ppm. And as you can see in this figure, there's an excellent linear correlation between the MS signal intensity and the amount of amylase. Most of the drug substance batches we analyzed showed an amount of amylase below the LLOQ, but we also detected close to 10 ppm in one of them. The client would now like to use the assay as a release assay and has asked to have the method validated and run under GMP.